It all started eight months ago when the Global Space Coalition decided that mankind is ready to colonize planet Mars. The coalition therefore sent space agencies from the League of Member States on a mission to build human colonies on Mars. As they were about to enter Martian atmosphere a few hours before touchdown, the Western agencies NASA and DSA broke the rule by initiating a board protocol. They made U-turn to avoid landing on the Red Planet. The Russians as well as the Africans had no U-turn capability and had to continue the journey despite unimaginable fear of what awaits them on the red cold dead and dry planet. Is it true that the worst that could happen to humanity is to discover a human race on another planet? Rumors had it that the ill-fated abort protocol was as a result of sudden realization of the existence of advanced alien life on the planet. However, the Russians and the Africans landed successfully on the Ezero crater. Out of suspicion, they waited in their ships for 31 souls, but nothing happened. Then they unlatched their doors and stepped feet on the red planet. Their mission would have been successful but their noisy construction activities provoked the resident creatures that have been waiting for a time as this. The creatures warned them with storms and quakes, but humans are too evolved to speak the language of nature. Out of anger, the creatures attacked them and the trigger-happy Russians defended themselves with sophisticated weapons. They shot at the four feet tall creatures they knew nothing about. The frail creatures destroyed their ship and behold there was carnage. The Martians killed everyone and took hostage the only woman among them. With same anger, they attacked the African camp, killed those that sprayed chemicals on them and took Yumisi, who also, is the only woman among her crew. 30 days later, 98 brave Chinese astronauts landed on same planet with plans to build the first cellular towers for communication. The resident creatures tried to caution them them too. But the Chinese were eager to dominate the planet. Hence, carnage was their fate. The Martians killed the entire crew in three fronts with the exception of the two ladies among them. Meanwhile, Somewhere at the edge of the solar system is an asteroid-like object drifting at ultrasonic speed towards the center of the solar system. The news of betrayal at the gates of Mars got to Earth. And nations of the world revolted against the leadership of the US for leading their astronauts to the slaughter. US embassies in many African nations and Asia were destroyed, and the UN General Assembly was marred with rowdy arguments, especially by ambassadors from countries that did nothing to protect the assets of the Western countries. While the United States and other native English-speaking countries struggle to explain to the rest of the world that the abort protocol wasn't an act of betrayal but in defense of mankind from the so-called asteroid, which, in actuality, is a ginormous alien spacecraft camouflaging as an asteroid and destroying every man-made craft along its path. The super-aliens are coming to colonize the solar system just as man struggles to colonize Mars. They also struggled to explain that the aborted landing, on the red planet, had helped them identify other features in the galaxy which are not visible from Earth. However, the Indians got involved and took the lead to protect the inner planets with their military assets called Project Bharata. Meanwhile, Captain Obi, and three other surviving members of the ASC struggled to rescue Yamisi, and the other female captives but soon realized that Yamisi, must stay back with the Martians in their underground society to assist them in midwifery and modern medicine if the rest of the team must survive to actualize their dream of building colonies on Mars. It turned out that the Martians had tolerated them in the first instance because they have been waiting for help from above for centuries and believe that this strange looking creature, humans, must be advanced in issues of life and could help their women in safe delivering of newborn babies. At the asteroid belt, the Americans launched their inner planet's defense systems called Operation Safe Corridor. When the Indians failed to destroy the alien ship, but forced it to unbundle itself into 16 saucer-like ships, two misfired missiles head towards Earth to be later intercepted with an abandoned project left in space for emergencies like this. Seven out of 16 gigantic alien ships were destroyed by Operation Safe Corridor and the remaining nine spent towards the inner planets. The Indians succeeded in protecting their lunar base station by destroying two approaching ships. The remaining seven saucers dashed for Mars, where they met NASA crew hovering in Martian space with missiles, rigged on many fronts. They engaged the ships in combat and destroyed five while two escaped. One of the ships disappeared from the radar, 
while the other landed on Mars. The NASA spaceship survived the battle but lost a thruster to crash land on Mars with a loud bang capable of unleashing anger from the Martians. The surviving astronauts engaged the kangaroo aliens in a hopeless battle and lost two more astronauts. The resident aliens, the Martians, led by Yamisi, came with their weapon of mass destruction, the storm, and destroyed the interstellar aliens, the kangaroos. This unexpected partnership among the creatures of the solar system, that is, the humans and the Martians, launched in an era of mutual understanding between mankind and Martians. Yamisi and the Martians rode back to their world underground, to face their promising future with increasing rate of birth survival among the Martian women while the rest of the surviving astronauts went in unison and without breaking the Martian rules to build colonies for mankind on Mars. This feature-length script, War of Worlds, Yamisi and the Martians, has been translated into a novel and published exclusively on Amazon Kindle. Perhaps it will be found on other bookstores across the globe in the nearest future as it aims to attract the attention of movie producers across the globe. Hit the like and subscribe buttons to know whenever we post updates on our upcoming shot sci-fi movies. The End